Hello and welcome to the overview of the procedural crates. In this video I'm going to give a quick overview on what the tool is and what we can do with it. So here in Unity you can see some examples of the result of a procedural crate. So these are all made with the same tool and we can easily adjust sizes, the looks of it on how we want it. These crates will also have a shader so we can adjust the color easily. So we can easily make this a different color. We also have the separation of a panel that can be opened, so we can open the crates. In Houdini we're going to build everything we need to have a game ready model. So with low poly, high poly, and we also have a decal system, so we can place more details on the crates automatically. Once everything is set up in Houdini, we can then build an HDA or digital asset. And this can then be opened in Unity. So in here I have my digital asset ready and I can easily start adjusting the size for example. We also have controls on where shapes are placed. So I have a multi-parameter so I can say how many booleans I want. So I have here for example four booleans. And I can control the depth of these booleans. As you could see here I can also move them up or down. And you can also notice that this is going pretty fast in a game engine. So we can easily start adding more booleans if we want to. We can also link the digital asset to a cube. So it will take the size from the cube and transform it on the grid. And we have here a built-in menu where we can change shape to the cube. So if I now change the shape of the cube. So you can see that the crate is taking the size from the cube. And this is pretty cool to work with. I make some quick variations for whatever you need in your game. Once you have a crate you're happy with, the tool will un unwrap it. And we can also bake it directly in Game Engine. So the tool has a built-in baker. So once pressing bake, it's going to create a normal map and a mask map. This mask is then used to have some localized effects on the crate. Once done baking, we're going to re-import the texture. We can see that the crate is now being updated with the correct information. And this is then now ready to use in game. Then some insight on how it's constructed in Houdini. So this is the network that I have for the crate. So as you can see here, this is the crate that we have as end result. We start of course with a basic shape like a box, then we're going to split the box from the top part and the bottom part. Then each part will then have a modeling section. So in here we have some modeling, some basic modeling on them, so we get some more interesting shapes. And we also have a similar part here, where we also model some basic shapes on the top panel. Then I will be combining the shapes together again. And once I'm ready, I'm going to create a high poly. From this high poly, I assigned some colors. And these colors are representing the metalness. So in Unity, automatically the top panel has been metal. These lines are metal. These parts are also metal. So we don't have to manually do that anymore. So it's automatically assigned. Then I will be also creating from the high poly the masks features. So as you can see here this is then our mask and this mask controls where metal is so and the edge damage. Everything in the color white will be metal and this is then one of my masks I use in the shader of Unity. I also have another mask this is then for my green channel. And I use this mask to get some roughness variation and some dirt in these corners. Then I have my last mask and this is simply a gradient. So you can have a gradient effect. Then these masks are getting combined together. Once that's set up I can go to the baker and bake my normal map and the masks. And these two maps is the only thing I need to build my final crate in Unity. Further down here we have a decal system. 
which places around these floating planes with information on them. Based on this uh, texture, it's gonna place different pieces of the texture on the crate. So you can have a specific text or details on the crate and I can change this in-game engine on the fly. And the way the decal system works is by inputting points and on these points will then be placed geometry. And we can easily change which part should be displayed or not. And then everything is ready to output and then we can open everything in a game engine. Also in game engine we are able to have different meshes as output so we can still open the crate. Once the tool is set up, in a few hours we can build a variety of different crates. That was it for the overview video and I hope you will be soon start watching the tutorials about them.